Welcome to another He Said, She Said, and my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. I'm a behavior and mindset positive psychology practitioner. I'm here to help you and Denise. Let's take it away. Oh, thanks, Ron. I'm going to catch that ball because it is the first day of Major League Baseball season. So exciting. Um, for those of you who, who care about sports, um, I am a performance coach, but I'm, you don't have to be an athlete to contact me at grandslamcoaching.com. You just want to contact me if you want to improve your performance both on and off the field, the boardroom, the classroom, the courtroom, or on any athletic pitch, diamond, field, uh, whatever, arena, I can help you be the best you you can be and also make every day a Grand Slam day. And it is really appropriate that it's Grand Slam day. Today's the opening day of baseball. We've already had our first major league home run of the season by Michael Cabrera, Mickey Cabrera of the Detroit Tigers, who hit it in a snowstorm. A two Ooh, yes. that's a hot bat then. That bat must have been hot and the ball's even hotter. Yep, exactly. And I saw the pictures and the snow was swirling and it's in Comerica Park in Detroit. So, you know, oh, sorry, there's a little fly there and um, I missed it. Sorry, <laughs> my name is still so <laughs> today because um, I don't have the chopsticks. <laughs> so, oh, I know, right? Yes, yes. So, so it's all exciting that Major League Sports are back and they're back and better than ever. The Washington Nationals did have to postpone their home opener due to COVID, but hopefully they'll work all those things out. So. I digress because this is now our, bless you. This is our Whoa. 13th episode. Count them 10 and three, baby, 10 and three. Oh. And it's all about April Fools. And don't I, let I, April, don't let April fool I you. Fool you. I was going to say, I apologize that I sneezed. I tried to hold it. It's just, it, it zoomed. It, it, it happens, right? I think my but, fly, my fly that I missed went up your nose. I, I'm quite sure because someone was tickling it and it all of a sudden came up. So it must have been your fault. The reason I had to sneeze. So I put the blame back at you. But it's not about blame. It's about a <laughs> fact of life that I missed the fly, which then flew through the screen and up your nose. It just I happened. It. It's happened. not a blame thing. It just happened. It's happened. That's sometimes in life, it just happens. But today is don't let April fool you. So exactly. let Let's talk about that. Don't let, so what does that mean for you? Let's say, Denise. Uh, well, don't let April fool me is that, you know, we can be really tricked into, okay, it's springtime. We're, we're in the middle of spring break. If you have kids in school or you're about to, we're about to have Easter, new beginnings, all sorts of stuff. Don't let it, don't get complacent. Don't mm. think that just because it's a new time that things are automatically going to happen. You still need to work at it. You still need to think about what you want and you need to go for it. Oh, 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 that touched my heart. Yeah. That touched my heart. You know why? I really been getting into manifestation and um, higher coach and all this great stuff. And the work is not really never over. It, it, that's just kind of reality. Don't fool yourself. Ah, beat her up and life is over because if you ever talk to two people that have retired at the same exact time, one has his feet up on the couch, one is still, hey, going to ed get an education, maybe has a part-time job or doing something to continue his mind, he actually lives a lot longer than a guy who puts his feet, feet up on the couch. Statistically, it's been proven that it's happened. So the more cognitive you're aware of what to do, the better you are. But let's get back to manifestation. So every night before I go to bed, I know I'm at but I visualize myself where I want to be. Mm -hmm. And I visualize what steps I'm gonna take. Right now, to give you an example, is I always start with, I help people that are tired of who they are and where they're in life. Okay, so let's put it out there. People don't know what coach is, and uh, that's a very broad kind of uh, intro, very broad. Mm -hmm. So two days ago, I hired a, a content creation specialist. And mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is that what started happening now is that was a great story a year ago, but after what I've been through and after all my experience, I, I need a new story because my new story is going to manifest the clients I want to attract. It has to go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the work's not yes. over. I got to get my story out there to attract the clients I want to coach. So that way I can help. I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. It's just 
Do you help an eight year person or do you help someone that's 100 years old? It's really broad, it's really confusing. I don't wanna get you guys specifics out there. And the work isn't done. Just because I, just because I created a story a year ago does not mean I can't recreate it. Just because- well, it's, not, it's not recreating it, Ron, it's building on it. It's like, ah. it's like, it's like when we had, you know, when we talked about the book in a couple episodes ago that everybody has a book they carry around. You only, every time you write a new page, another one goes off to the cloud. You're not changing your story, you're building on it. Oh, I love that better. I'm building, you're, you're building on it. You're shaping it like a piece of clay. Mm. Okay. Because every time, because all these new layers you're adding on in it, and it's, and it's, you're fortunate that you can afford to find someone to, and hire someone to help with your content, because all these new certificates you've gotten, all this new information that you've learned, you're probably, I can tell that you're overwhelmed with, oh my God, there's all this stuff. And what do I do? You need someone to help you focus and start seeing the forest for the trees and really pick what it is you want to do because you've picked oh. up a huge amount of new skills over the last couple of months, which is great and more power to you. Now we need to focus on what skills you're gonna, you wanna use first to then go build on and start adding in all the other ones that you've already learned. Yes, I love that. Building upon what I already know. I love mm -hmm. that. And that's what I'm doing is I'm pretty much redoing my website again for yep. like the fifth time, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Websites Always are not building, changing, stone growing. Always build, change, and growing. Um, and I know what you just had me. I got a moment right there for a split five seconds where you allow me to recognize your gratitude. I have gratitude. In fact, I can hire somebody that that's what they do. We're going to pretty much formulate my process and send out to my web developer mm -hmm. to create what I want. And I have to sit back and say, okay. Ron, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for the fact I can have the means financially to pay to do this. Because if it was up to me, it may not get done. One, so I fool myself to think, okay, magically it'll get done. Second thing being is this, this is not my forte. I'd rather hire somebody, get all this information into my head on paper, which is where the meat meets the road and see it exactly. forward. Exactly. But here, and here's the other thing too. Which leads me to to say that yeah, my website's been up for about fourteen months now, maybe fifteen months. I haven't changed a thing. Uh, part of it is just being overwhelmed with everything else, just to keep the oh. roof over my head. There's a lot, you know, it's a lot going on. But as a coach, really, if we're not changing our web our websites and and updating them frequently, we're not demonstrate we're not leading by example to our clients that that not only change is good but change constantly happens yes it does mm -hmm. it does yeah. and and obviously you're not uh and and part of that too it's not just updating your website but what new knowledge have you gained last 14 months what new skills have you gained last 14 months what have you done that you can share with your clients absolutely and you know, change, change can be so positive, change can be negative, but change can be so positive. So we as coaches, you know, don't let April fool you. You know, I'm going to put on my list sometime in the next month. I will try very hard to carve out the time to uh, do some updating on my website, you know. Oh, and don't forget, I can help you. I'm, I know you can, you. Uh, honey, I, I'm going to need, I'm going to need your help. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm running out of time here. So, you know, it, it is what it is, but, um, so what April fool's jokes have happened to you today, Ron? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Uh, zero. Zero. Yes. Well, my <laughs> no. son only just, my son only just woke up. So we'll see what he has planned for me today before I go to work. Well, now it's up to the dating scene. And it, it, I don't know why this has to be one. Right? I, I'll put it out there. So if I'm out there dating multiple women, you always got that maybe one or two, at least one for sure to text you. Hey, I got something to tell you. Like, okay, what's up? Um, I, I might be pregnant. Yeah, pregnant I, I, or, yeah, or I have a disease or something like that. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, why you got to do those jokes that are not funny? Last time someone did it to me, I was very upset because that's not really funny to be playing around with. Having a kid, taking responsibility, and you might be pregnant. It may not be something I want. Maybe what you want. So I, those are not funny. 
that's that's no. not cool. No, 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 no. Um, uh, it's, uh, divorce is nothing to joke about either. No. Uh, leaving someone, having an affair, or anything. There's some things you just don't joke about. But I want to do something funny to my son today. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna figure it out. Hmm. What about the bunny ears? With the chocolate? No, because they don't have any more at Safeway. I bought the last ah. bunny. So, okay. so uh, yeah, I don't. I can't do that one. I'll see. Well, I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out. Something's gonna come to me. Something's okay, gonna right. come to me. But meanwhile, I'm not. How are you not going to let April fool you, Ron? You know what? I'm not gonna let anything fool me at this point in my life. Um, <sighs> Easier said through, than done, my friend. Easier it really said than is. Done. It really is, and that's why I have to take a moment and just <sighs> breathe because I'm going through a huge awakening right now. And um, when you're going through a huge awakening, uh, it could be life, it could be spiritual, whatever it may be for you. For me, it's both spiritual and life at the same time. I can't be fooled with the fact that I'm going through these great changes and not understanding that other people may not be where you are right now. Mm -hmm. So I need to always, um, you know, it could be relationships, it could be friends, it could be family. You always gotta take a step back and meet people where they are. Understand their model of the world and understand where they are. Because as I tend to go this direction, some people may not be ready for that or some people may not understand. So I can't be fooled with the fact that I'm going in that direction. I expect everybody to come with me because some people will not. So that's one way right now on the tip of my tongue that Abel's not gonna fool me into thinking I'm going through this change. And maybe not everybody's ready for it. You know, that's really, that. see, that touches my heart that other people may not be ready for it. And, and, and recognizing that and acknowledging that is really huge, huge. really, really huge. Mm, um, huge. So hopefully between the two of us, neither one of us will be fooled, will let the month of April fool us. Because I don't know, the month of April for me, it's just uh, between school and work and now the Giants, yeah, I get to work on opening day. I'm so excited. Awesome. Excited. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to get back to the ballpark. Woo! Knock it out of the park. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, go ahead. Are you gonna be behind the pitcher? Where's your favorite spot to sit? Okay, talk about that for a second. Oh well, the Gotham Club. If you picture Oracle Park, and there's the right in right field, they have the uh, signs and the numbers of the updates for the away games. You know, other games that are being played. Well, behind those signs, that's where the Gotham Club is. And that's where I work is in the Gotham Club. So they have the upstairs portion. So so while it's covered, it's still breezy because, you know, you hang the signs and you get the breeze, you know, from the outside. And then under on the ground floor where the entrance is to the Gotham Club, it's like this little archway. Um, so if you look down the right field line, you've got the yellow pole. And then you have the Alaska Airlines suite and underneath it is this archway and we call it the bullpen and you're right there. I mean, I, 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 in 2019, you know, guys were bouncing off it to grab the balls. The balls were banging into it. Um, you know, Mikey Strunsky was out in right field. A couple of us were like, hey, yes. And he turned around, he's like, right to us. And we're like, ah, beautiful. <laughs> so that's my favorite place to watch it is in right field because you really can see everything um, much more so than you can from behind. and you know, in between all the, the letters and the different games, there's windows and then there's a breezeway, which is open and that's in Triples Alley. I mean, it's just, oh, it's just all fantastic. And I'm so looking forward to my first of the season hot dog next Friday. Oh, I can see all the energy coming yeah. through. You ready for opening season? So, okay, hold on, hold on. Are we going to be full with the fact every seat will be filled or will no. we be kind of spread out? It is minimum capacity. I want to say they're only letting 8,000 fans in and you have to have either your um, card that says you've been vaccinated or a negative result from a COVID test, which cannot be more than 72 hours old. 
and they Ooh. and they just released a thing um dignity health um they do have a, a, a urgent care in giant state in oracle park um on the outside that through dignity health they have a testing station and then you can also download an app which will have your results on your phone and keep it all private so you just have to flash the qr code that yes i'm i'm okay um but obviously you have to get tested it takes a certain hour to process time to process it so you have to go 72 hours before game time to get tested interesting that is a new dynamic mm -hmm. so I, I don't go to sports games so i don't worry about that i wonder how will that play out just out of curiosity thinking outside how would it play out in everything how it play out in concerts how's it going to play out in basketball games hockey uh the grocery store uh travel how's that going to play out you know, I don't know, but as I think as more and more people get vaccinated, because I have my vaccination card, um, and I'll be taking, you know, loading a photo of it front and back onto my phone, but I'm sure there can be, with technology racing the way that it does, I'm sure there's going to be a way to have a, a thing. Someone's going to develop an app, like in the next 30 minutes, I'm sure, to say, take a picture of it here. It's going to be a separate app with a qr code so that everywhere you go you can just open it up and boom there it is and they just mm. you know scan it boom shoot the gun at it and you'll be bling, you know you've been vaccinated that's interesting because what's going to happen too is, is there's there's a lot of people out there and i will say i know somebody that's a nurse works at dignity health will will not take the COVID shot there will are some, there are some people at safeway who won't do that either um, Safeway it has been kind enough to reward those of us who did get vaccinated with a hundred dollar gift card, uh, which I'm grateful oh. for. Um, I get not putting foreign things in your body. I get that. I understand that. And yes, we really sped through this process to get these vaccines. I have had nightmares over the last month about people four years from now developing other things and linking it to the vaccine and then trying to sue all of these companies uh, to get money for it. But you know what? If something happens to me because I took this vaccine, I hope to God it takes me quickly. But we can't, sometimes you gotta bite the bullet. Mm -hmm. And it's better mm -hmm. to take this now and stop this now and then and blown up and then then have it blown up and i'm sure they're already thinking about we have no side effects the the entire world population is our test pool what can we do you know nobody knows and just like the polio vaccine nobody knew smallpox nobody knew but you know what we got through it mm -hmm. and what is different from now as to then is that we are such a litigious society and it's wrong and let's mm -hmm. just roll with it and again hope to god that if something develops that it takes me quickly amen to that i was second that because if, if i get something in the future and it's it's i'm not talking about COVID, but in general take me quick i want to go to my sleep i want to be that 95 year old grandma goes to bed and that's it yeah <laughs> because watch a level like i did um see people don't understand when it comes to health sometimes it's not that quick rapid pass away it's i watched my dad slowly over seven years his health declined to the bottom out and at some point he would have a no quality of life with no small intestine and no large intestine so what do you do i mean he passed yeah. away in, in hospital but i i could say i want to be a grandma 95 years old whatever age i am 110 130 200 years old go my sleep softly that's all i want to do that's all please that's all i ask for go softly yes as that's bob it. as as dylan thomas says go gently into the night that's all i want to do baby just all yeah. i want to do but let's okay. get back to happy let's get back to happy and that it's april 1st and it's, it's 1st. almost easter sunday and i know that by the time you edit this when we put it out it'll be after easter so happy easter happy post easter hope the bunny was good to you I started watching the movie Hop a couple of days ago because I needed something happy. Hot, H-O-T? Hop, H-O-P. H-O-P, what is that about? 
a hop. It's a kids movie that came out a few years ago about the Easter Bunny. Really? Okay. I yeah, never heard an, of this. It's, I an animated, it's an animated Disney Pixar or whatever it is. And I think it's out on Netflix right now. It's super cute. And, you know, the bunny, he goes and he poops out um, jelly beans. You know, as one thing and and, and, and the whole okay. thing with, with the easter factory and the colors and the beans and the bunnies and the you know and and the chicks and the peeps and all that it's just right now it's time for a feel-good movie it's the first of april it's a sunny day it's a warm day let's let's just wrap ourselves around something happy and fun today you know what i i, I gotta say that person that owns a bunny right now or um uh i've got what other animals kind of small kind of furry uh Hamster, no hamster. We all wish they, I don't own one. I was going to get one, a guinea pig. That's why I was looking for the name. Right. We all wish we had one and they pooped out jelly beans. <laughs> that first would be little, fun. <laughs> first little black pellets. <laughs> I think that would yeah. be fun. That's, that's I'm laughing because if you don't clean a guinea pig cage every other day or at least, at least every three to four days, it can smell very rancid and I really smell jelly beans, sweet, yummy, favorite colors red, get the red with the black get licorice together or the flavor kind of ones, lime with uh, lemon and uh, red tastes good as well, then yeah. little black well, things. Yeah. Yeah. My dad loved black licorice and when we were young, before they started selling them separately, we would go through and pick out all the black ones for them. And then, and then finally they have bags with no black or to all black and whatever. Oh, but there was a thing and I meant to get it the other day. I don't know if we still have it, but it was a little plastic bunny. You wind it up and it actually poops out jelly beans. And I saw it and I was laughing my ass off and <laughs> decided, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to get this for my son. And then I just completely flaked out about it. So I have to look today when I go to see if they still have it. So I better get it. Yeah, better if they still have it. I don't know. Oh, if they don't have it. They go to eBay or Amazon and see if they have because you talking about Safeway had it, right? Yep, Safeway had it in our little in our little Easter display. But uh, you know, hey, if if they don't have it, it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. And I'm okay with that too. That's it. Okay. Fool. Let me think about one. April Fools. I have one, one thing to fool me is the bank account. <laughs> I wish that was bigger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, don't we guys, all don't we all don't we most one day we, oh well this is this and wake up next day oh is this really real yeah I was, I was reading an article the other day so um there's a thing called ppp and those that are on a business are entrepreneurs whatever it's called peer protection law mm -hmm. so what this dude did is like the government announces let's say trillions of dollars of funding right for small businesses during this pandemic so this dude went and opened up 15 companies and when it first started it was just a melee you know they didn't have the staff you know people get approved left and right he got approved for 25 million dollars oh my yeah. god did they have they to bit. fork over the cash <laughs> they forked over the cash he spent on, on luxury cars homes and all anything luxury this dude was a fool and think he'll fool the government they're not gonna come back asking for the money like what's going on because what's going to happen is that it's called payroll protection loan. Right. You forget loan, not free. Yes. No loan. So you have to pay it back. And eventually, if you open 15 companies and obviously you apply for every single one for this loan, they were like, wait a minute here. This social security number, this EIN number match all the same. It's going for a flag and $25 million. Someone's going to check the checker. They'll send you money, but someone's going to go back and double check right, just to make sure. Obviously, he got arrested. And he's going. He's going to either. So he's going to serve some jail time because it's fraud. It's called wire fraud, I think. Yep. He's going to serve some jail time and may have to pay it back. But he thought he would fool the government. And you now here, here, here's here's the kicker. I, I like. Okay. You know you got the money illegally first. Yep. You apply for it. So you knew you're doing wrong. But why would you spend twenty five million dollars on luxury items? I mean, why don't you take a one million? Put 24 aside just in case you get busted. And it's been a luxury item. They got to blow a hole of it on luxury items. I mean, how long do you think you're going to last for? No one find out. Um, because this person clearly wants to have a lifestyle that we cannot afford. And let's face it, our role models 
that we have, the uber rich, who keep getting away with things and never having to pay the penalty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> pay the piper. Pay the piper. Bastions, Trump, Kanye West. Uh, ooh, Wesley Snipes did do some jail time. Um, he didn't pay his taxes. Huh? He didn't pay his taxes. That's what happened. He, did, he didn't pay his taxes, and he did pay the penalty, and he did have jail time. But there's other a lot of other people who were like. I mean, how do you, I read mean, these stories about, oh, so-and-so is in debt, like, you know, $3 million or owes credit cards. Three million. I, first of all, shame on the credit card companies for letting it get that high. Because I know that when I hit my max limit, that's it. I'm done. So why do, they, why do they keep extending credit to people just because they're famous? Because guess who pays for it? You and me when they default on it. And shame on all these housing lenders and these home loan, the, the, the home loan people who allow these, these famous people to buy multiple properties and then kind of go default on them or not pay them and run up all these things because you and I are paying for it. So, you know, I want to play devil, devil's advocate on this one. Okay. And I will say this, <clears throat> shame not just the credit card companies, realtors, and all this other jazz, because obviously they want to make money. Shame on some kind of accountant didn't tell this person, hey, buddy, you, you're living uh, on a wine taste and a cook budget, okay? But shame on the person that gets money, three, four hundred, five hundred million dollars, is not smart enough to either get education or smart enough to find out a person they could tell them how to manage their money. They just think, okay, I, I'm a millionaire and money's gonna be around forever. No, sorry, it's not. But here's the problem is that you have people who, who say, I don't know how to manage this money. I'm gonna hire someone. But the person that they hire is crooked because every time you do a transaction, if you're, if you're watching my money wrong, for example, you know, here's my hundred dollars wrong. You're gonna manage it for me. You're like, okay, Denise, I'm now gonna take six dollars and i can go pay your rent on your property for you but meanwhile i'm going to take my 10 percent for making that payment mm -hmm. and then i say oh ron here are my credit card to pay my bills and you take your 10 percent every time you do that mm -hmm. so and then but then you just tell me yeah everything's paid everything's paid and yeah you have money in the bank well then i just can't kind of keep going it's just, a, it's just a vicious cycle of greed and it's a vicious cycle of theft and it's a vicious cycle of all about me. Yep. So the only thing we can do, Ron, you and I, is make sure that we're living a good life and that we make sure that we help our clients reach their potential and help them find where they want to be so that they're happy and satisfied and they can do their own thing. And with that said... Again, have a boom. Boom slam day. Boom. Out another of the park. Floor. Because I want to say thank you guys for listening to another He Said, She Said, and don't let April fool you. We talk about a lot of different things, but the objective is do your research, get more understanding, be happy. Ask questions. Experience one day at a time and ask questions. Exactly. Again, this is this is Ronald Johnson, and you can find me at www ronjohnsoncoaching.com and i'm denise lewis you can find me at www.grandslamcoaching.com i hope you all have you ron me and everybody out there i hope you all have a grand slam day boom i hope you all have far. a wonderful day and we'll we'll see you for episode 14 shortly have shortly. a great day thanks everybody bye